We begin with team coverage as the Great Salt Lake is at an all-time record low. It is just one of the many effects of the drought. Low lake levels affect our health because of blowing dust and our economy. And even our tourism with the less snow in the mountains from wind blowing off the lake. We start with new specialist Alex Cabrera. They're live tonight. Alex, this has definitely caught a lot of people's attention. Yeah, and Dini, that might be the one positive of these low lake levels is that it is getting a ton of attention. There was a meeting at the Utah Department of Natural Resources today talking about dredging the marina so boats can get out on the water, not so much for recreation, but mainly for search and rescue. You can still have fun at the Great Salt Lake. Jim Young sure did. Very salty, <laughs> but it's just floating on the water. It's amazing. However, it was his first time here and doesn't have the perspective of just how low the water level is now. Sad to see this. Dave Shearer see right has 25 the, uh, years of perspective. Uh, He's the manager at Great Salt Lake State Park, and when water levels hit an all-time recorded low yesterday, well, he was feeling pretty low, too. Great Salt Lake is in my blood. If, if you find anybody that's been on this part of this community for a long time, it's definitely they're very passionate about it. One of his biggest passions is rescuing people who need help out on the lake. And if a search and rescue mission was needed today, this boat couldn't get out of the marina. This lake is so big that when we have strong south winds and us being on the very south end of the lake, it drags the water out. And so with the lake being as low as it is today, it's just so low on the mouth, it would be hard to get the, the big rescue boat out today. Plans were discussed today to use federal funds to dredge the marina so rescue boats could get out on the lake in an emergency, such as a plane crash or a sunken boat. We're just at bare bones operations at this point, trying to make the marina functional so we can Attend to people, kayakers, paddleboarders, anyone who's out there that, that needs help. Utah legislators passed water conservation measures this year to help the lake, but it's not an overnight fix. The lake is not going to be saved just by one person or one entity. It's going to take a group effort of enormous proportion. An effort almost as big as the lake itself, which Young feels after only one visit is worth saving. Definitely. I want to say everybody come here to try it. <laughs> yeah, all it takes is one visit to see just how far out that water line is now. The dredging of the marina is expected to begin later this year to get those rescue boats out on the water. There are other places rescue boats can launch from, but this one here at the Great Salt Lake, this is an important one.